Hey everyone, this is Zero Prime and welcome to another edition of Zero Review, a series in which I look back on the games I played on my channel and I give you my thoughts and opinions on said games. And on today's episode I'll be talking about not a game not a game entirely, but one mini game that's found in a game that's unreleased. And I'm talking about my experiences with Desert Bus from the Penn and Taylor Smoke and Mirrors game on the Sega CD. Now to give you a little bit of a history, with a little bit of a history, Penn and Taylor back in the 90s were planning on re releasing a game for the Sega CD called Smoke and Mirrors, in which they have like a bunch of mini games, which you know was you know they had their style of com you know the style of you know their com their comedy and everything to basically point out the thing the events and things going on back in the day with all video game violence and all that. And one of the games they did they did for that was called Desert Bus. Now before we go on, I should point out that if you're try if you're trying to find Smoke and Mirrors to buy a copy of it, they never re officially released it. Just before they were about to release it, from my understanding, the company went bankrupt and the game was never released. But it has found its way online, so people have managed to download it and have fun with it. And of course, I try to play as much of the game as I can, but I can't quite get it to work. But one of the games I did work was Desert Bus. Now, basically, to those of you that don't know what Desert Bus is, does that? Excuse me. What Desert Bus is? It's simply a game in which you drive a bus from. Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada, which is, you know, a long drive and from one point to the other is eight hours. And that's exactly how long it takes in order to beat, in order to get there, game time. You literally have to hold down the drive button and make sure you don't, you basically make sure from time to time press on the left, the left direction just to steer it to stay in the center for eight hours hours and basically that was like the joke on that game was that basically people complain about the ultra violence of video games and everything it's like well if you complain about the ultra violence of video games he was a real life simulation stupidly realistic and basically it's like you know i would rather you know do something else than simply sit on one spot and just you know play it for eight hours which I did just for the heck of it because I did this during the quarantine lockdown and everything so I figured hey eh, why not give this a shot and as you see in the video I have accomplished that goal and there's really not that much to say about the game you literally just hold down the the drive button and you tap the X from time to time to make sure you stay on the road because of course, I haven't let go of the X button or, you know, make sure that the button was held down. But if you stop or get or careen off the road and get stuck, then a tow truck will arrive and it will pull you back to the beginning of the game. But of course, it does this in real time. So say you are three hours into the game, you weren't paying attention, and you careen off to the side of the road, I think it takes like that same three hours for the tow truck to arrive and three hours for the tow truck to tow you back to the beginning. So you basically just lost six hours of that challenge for an eight for an eight hour challenge game. Now you might be asking yourself what exactly happens if you get to the end of it? If you haven't watched my video or I heard much about it. Well, you basically get one single point of the game. And then basically you have the option to continue on that trend to get another point for another 8 hours. So essentially in order to get like the maximum point of I think it was 999 points. You can do the math. That basically let's just do a little mathematic equation real quick. Right here right now real quick. Uh, let's see calculator. Okay so. Oop, hang on, I'm gonna really clear this out. So, to, to get 99 points for every 8 hours, that's basically 
Well, let's see. Basically, to do that, yada, yada, yada. Basically, it all adds up there. It will basically take you about a month or so, continuous back and forth of, you know, playing the game. And, as, and basically, as you can see, that's why I just decided to get there and get one point. If anyone else wants to try to get more points than me, go right ahead. Although this game has done a lot of good as there is a charity event a charity event called the Desert Bus Charity in which you have people play this game for charity and it has done a lot of good for that, so that's a plus for that. But the simp besides the simplicity of the game, like I said, there's really not much of it besides the joke of it, you know, for eight hours. But like I said, I just say that if you have a chance there's also I should point out a VR version of the game in which you know we you wear your VR helmet and you basically drive it for eight hours Which I would imagine like I said, it's very difficult because You have to balance you know to make sure you don't drink a lot and make sure you don't eat a lot So that way you don't have to go to the bathroom very badly during that time And also like I and also have a lot of stuff to keep you entertained and busy because like I said Eight hours of just seeing the same thing over and over like that, it really does t gets taxing over time. So, like I said, if you're up for a ch one of the video game challenges and want to see how well you do it, go ahead and give a try on the Desert Bus and see how you do. And like I said, I'm just happy I got one point in that game and I have recorded proof of that, so... In any case, that's all the time I have for this episode, so as usual guys, thank you for watching, make sure you leave a comment below, subscribe for more viewer updates, share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias, and don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel, and to turn on the notification bells to stay up to date on my channel. And if you guys want to help me out in some shape or form, I do have a Patreon account down below, and as usual guys, thank you for watching, and have a pleasant day. Bye bye!